Yo guys, how you all doing? Welcome back to another one of Jordy's beer reviews. And this one we're looking at BBNO 05 and the Paleo Amarillo and Citra hops. Alcohol 6% volume and a 440ml can. BBNO, which stands for Brewed by Numbers. So these guys are a good beer brewery. I've had one or two of their beers before, but I don't think I've actually reviewed them on the channel. Uh, there's quite a few different versions of this 05 in their pale wheel um, with different hops. I have the Amarillo and Citra. I believe there's a lot of other ones, um, but for now I've got this one, 05. And I picked this up from Tesco for, I think it was three quid, around three pounds from Tesco's. Ice cold, let's get it in there. Oh, I can smell that from here. I kind of messed the pour up. Apologies about that. Put that there in there. Ooh. Smells very fresh. Mmm. Mmm, that smells nice. Um, it looks nice as well. Missed the appearance. Slight amber. Amber colour. <laughs> Very, very, very cloudy, very misty, full-on colour. You can't see through that at all. With a strong white bubbly head. The aroma, you're getting pineapple. There's a piney smell. Pineapple, but piney as well. A little bit of orange, I think. Sweet fruits. It smells piney and fruity, and smells juicy too. Looks like it'll be a really nice juicy beer, this. So I've not had this before. Let's read the, let's read the back, actually. I forgot to read the back. Uh, okay. Quite hard to read up. This naturally hazy IPA has been brewed with expressive American hops, Amarillo and Citra, to create a balanced and ha and highly drinkable pale ale. These classic hops deliver, deliver waves of sweet tangerine, soft peach, and a zesty mouth-watering citrus finish. Okay, cool. Brewed with oats for a silky mouthfeel. This resulting beer is full-bodied, juicy, and Ultimately refreshing. Right, that's really hard to read that. It's really hard to read. See, because of the light. Because it's just straight up aluminium, basically. It's quite hard to read that, and it's tiny writing as well. I hate when they, I hate when they do that in beers. Make it easy. If you want us to read the back of the can, make it easy to read, you know? It's telling you all the stuff about that, but I can figure it out myself, you know, but... Okay, let's just get on with it then. I don't want to kind of, it's given a lot, of, a lot of information out on the can there, which is good, it's good, but if you're reviewing it, you'll kind of want to do that yourself. Anyway, so, BBNO 05, India, Pale Ale. <laughs> Cheers. Oh wow, getting tangerine, you are getting tangerine, orange, blood orange, it's got a lovely hot pea aftertaste, bitter finish, um, it's very fresh, it's clean, it's fresh tasting, it's really really fresh. got a good body on it as well. Usually it says oats on there. I know I kind of gave a, a lot of stuff away to myself but um, you can identify those oats because of that body. Oats give the beer a nice thicker body. You're definitely getting that and it's got a, it's got a nice body to it. Um, it's fresh though at the same time. It's very clean as well. Fresh orange taste. Fresh orange juice taste. What a bit of a grapefruit going on as, uh, as well. Um, maybe a bit of lime and lime as well. 
it is very juicy, um, nice body on it, but it goes down super easy. It's very easy drinking. Um, yeah, I like that. Maybe we try it from the can. Yeah, it's nice from the can as well. Um, so very juicy, um, full body, full body pale ale. With that 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 hoppy bitterness at the end that I talked about, you're getting that when you first dive in. It's nice and juicy. You're getting that fresh blood orange, grapefruit taste, tangerine as well. I'd say there's a wee tiny bit of a sourness there, a bit of a bitterness, um, and then boom, the hops, those sharp, jaggy, spiky hops just cover your tongue, and it's absolutely amazing. It's really nice, and enjoyable. And with the can art as well, it's interesting. Sorry, the dog's gonna have its nut down there. Oh, five. It's pretty cool, it's unique. I mean, yeah. So I like that work, I like the beer. Uh, I'll give it another wee taste and then I'll hit you with my final score. It's definitely a thumbs up for me. Beautiful. I love how it's juicy, I love that bitterness, I love the hops, I love all the taste, all the flavour flavor profiles going on there. It's a well balanced, well brewed, clean, fresh taste in pale ale, which has got a nice juicy taste to it. Okay, so, I think I'm ready to give my final score on this one. Lovely, absolutely lovely. Would I buy this again? Yes, I would definitely buy that again. Next time I'm in Tesco, I'm actually I'm actually considering right now. I've got to Tesco tomorrow, so I might actually pick a few cans up just to half for the weekend. So yeah, it's beautiful pineapple as well. So many fruits going on there, and it all tastes natural. It doesn't taste artificial or anything. It tastes very nice. So I'm going to give this one a straight up nine point five out of ten, guys. A nine point five, nine point six around that area, you know. I'll give it a 9.6 out of 10. 9.6 out of 10 for BBNO 05 in the app. Here we go. So, yeah, cheers for watching, guys. Yeah, yeah. Peace, love, happiness, all that stuff. Goodbye.